How do you transport your firearms in New Jersey? In this video, we're going to cover transporting your firearms in New Jersey if you're a resident. We're also going to cover transporting your firearms through New Jersey if you're a non-resident just passing through. I just want to point out that at the time of this recording, the information I'm providing is current according to the New Jersey State Police website under firearms information. If you're not sure about anything that I'm saying, if you have any questions whatsoever, please either leave them in the comment section for me or definitely reach out to the New Jersey State Police Firearms Investigation Unit or check their website for any last minute or up-to-date information. Let's get into it. The New Jersey State Police advised that firearms should be transported unloaded, contained in a closed and fastened case, gun box, securely tied package, or locked in an automobile trunk in, which, in the vehicle in which they're being transported. If the vehicle does not have a compartment that's separate from the driver's compartment, such as a pickup truck, then the firearm is to be secured in a locked case or container not the glove box and not the center console away from the driver basically they want the firearms not to be accessible to the driver or immediate passengers it should be kept farthest from the driver as a precaution they advise ammunition should be kept separate from the firearm in a secured container as well preferably locked in the trunk of an automobile in which they're being transported magazines may remain loaded uh, however, they should be separate from the firearm, of course. Can you transport your firearm to the range on a motorcycle? Yes, you can. Preferably, you would have lockable bags. However, saddlebags work as well as a backpack as long as the firearm is in a secured, locked container, either in your backpack or in the saddlebags of the motorcycle. Just before I get into talking about non-residents passing through New Jersey on their way to other destinations, I wanna point out that we have another vid video which you can reach right here, which talks about four rules of gun owners to follow for safety. So you might wanna check out that video as well. For non-New Jersey residents passing through New Jersey, can you have your firearms in your vehicle as you pass through New Jersey? The answer is yes, you can. Now, keep in mind, these firearms have to be legally acquired where you reside or where you came from, and they have to be transported in the same manner as I previously described. They have to be unloaded. They have to be secured in your vehicle. The ammunition has to be separate from the firearm. Now, the caveat is you can only do this without any unreasonable deviation from your travels. So, for example, if you're traveling down or up the New Jersey Turnpike and you need to stop at the rest area to take a break, get something to eat, that's reasonable. If you travel, say, 25 miles off the Turnpike to a friend's house to attend a party for two hours, well, in my opinion, that's not reasonable. So it's a common sense thing. No unreasonable deviations from your travels. And you can carry whatever firearms you have to your destination. Now, also keep in mind, if your destination is New Jersey, then the firearms must be legal to possess or own in New Jersey. So if you have a, a firearm that you know for a fact is not legal in New Jersey, you can pass through New Jersey with it as long as it's secured properly and you legally acquired that firearm in your home state. However, if your destination is New Jersey, that firearm needs to be legal to possess in New Jersey. That's it, folks. If you like the video, please hit the like button and share it. Also, consider subscribing to our channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay safe.